Alrighty, I'm not even gonna start off the video with that cheesy where I fly up slowly because there's so much to go over. It is crazy. As you just saw, all the brickwork is arriving for the restaurant. Um, a lot of more is coming in. Um, in terms of Kingswood, there's nothing going on. Um, in terms of rides getting ready, not much has changed. Obviously, Behemoth is getting ready to do its like testing and training this weekend. Um, I'm gathering all this information, by the way, off of 2021 when we flew and all the rides training and all that. It's the same schedule as 2021. Um, so it'll be Behemoth and Leviathan this weekend. Behemoth is ready to start testing this weekend. Leviathan is really far behind um, based off of what we can see. Only one train is still on the track. But again, Wonderland seems to always get things in order and somehow make deadlines <laughs> even though they look like they're not they always end up making them uh over there they are pouring the foundation for another building so again my prediction is they're gonna bring back some sort of buildings uh for the cookie witch um something along those lines so that could be what that's going to be um but there are other buildings going up in that area i can tell the foundation's been getting ready work is also going on on International Street, so uh, they're redoing the roofing and paint on some of the buildings there, as you can see here, so that was pretty cool to catch. Uh, it seems like they redo this area every year now, <laughs> so I, would, I just wish Behemoth would get some attention. But on that note, why isn't Action Zone and Behemoth getting a repaint? Well, we don't know that for sure. Again, I still think that Behemoth might get a repaint this season. Um, there are rumblings that there are some repainting to do, but as I've been seeing, there have been paintings going on in the park. They're just not roller coaster related. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, uh, there was also materials arriving. I'm assuming this is the kitchen stuff, um, for, or drywall for the restaurant. So this was arriving and then they were shoving it into the storage containers there to protect it. But there was also some weird metal red bars, which looked like queue lines to me um, that arrived with it. So that was weird. Uh, so there was some red bar like queue line stuff um, arriving. So I thought that was weird and they were shoving it into the storage container. So again, it's really hard to tell when you're this far away, the zoom does help. Um, but you're still not going to be able to pick out exactly what things are. It, 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 it It's definitely drywall. That blue material is my guess. But again, it could be literally sheets of metal. It could be nothing. Um, but th they're definitely red bars. I got I filmed them for literally 20 minutes. Uh, they unloaded it and shoved it into the red uh, storage container there. Or the silver one. Couldn't make out which one it was. But they shoved it into one of those. Um, but yeah. It was exciting to see, as you can see here. Um, oh my goodness, there's so much. I'm trying to remember what was going on. Um, I'll wait till it pops up on the screen. So I don't know if this is for 2023 or if it's for the restaurant, but it's drywall, so they have to keep it dry. That's why it's going into the storage containers to keep it dry. Um, don't know what the red stuff could ultimately be, but it definitely resembles what looks like other Q-line um, bars in the park. So... Uh, probably that. Uh, Leviathan. Uh, oh, this looked like... Um, just cleanliness, to be honest. I couldn't tell if that was maintenance or not, uh, but still missing some trains on Leviathan. Uh, I can't tell if there's two trains now or one. Um, there's a potential that there could be two now, um, but I, I think there's still one. It's just really hard to tell what some of those other materials are. Um, it is supposed to be running this weekend, but again, based off of last year, they are definitely a little bit farther behind. There is a water slide piece right there on the road for the drop slides. It's for the blue slide more precisely. Um, so that was pretty cool. Uh, at first I was like, oh, are we getting a new water slide in 2023? No, it's just the drop slide portion uh, where you stand in the capsule before dropping. Um, either they're replacing it. Like Honestly, I, actually, now that I'm looking at it, it looks like there could be a crack in the glass and maybe that's why it's removed and it's being shipped out to be replaced. Um, that would actually make sense because it's the only one missing. So, yeah, maybe that's it. <laughs> I didn't see the crack before or anything. Um, but, yeah, it looks like there's some metal bars up there, too, to protect anyone from falling in. But um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Oh, yes, in this video, you're going to see Skyhawk, um, them doing their maintenance, preventative maintenance on it, getting it ready for the testing. It's supposed to be testing this weekend as well. You can actually see some guy at the top there working. If you look closely, he's in there kind of, like, cleaning things out by the looks of it. It looked like he was cleaning out... Um, of the top, maybe some bird nests or some like animal nests or something, or just working on the wiring. It could be anything. It's really hard to tell again when you're this far away. The drone makes it look like we're super close, but we're not. Um, 
But yeah, they were working on Skyhawk. Again, I was a little weary of if that ride was going to be running this weekend. It's supposed to, based off of 2021. Um, but because it's in a construction zone. Um, but on that note, Vortex does have the safety fence reinstalled at that really low portion after the drop there in the construction site. So they might actually start to be able to run Vortex. It was supposed to train um, this last weekend that passed based off of 2021, but it didn't. Um, so I guess we'll see, wait and see what happens with that. It looks like they could be ready to go again with the safety fence back up. So it has its lockout zone um, back in place. But yeah. Super cool. You'll see this going up and down Skyhawk as well um, soon, shortly. I'm trying to think if there's anything else before I cut to music um, as I just let you guys kind of get a bird's eye view of the park in its city formation as everyone's kind of going around doing tasks. They are done the foundation for the restaurant. The concrete company is done. That's why they've moved on to, as you can see here, um, either a what I would guess a food stand um, a cookie witch building or a Coke refresh zone, whatever the park chooses. It's a little small for a restaurant, so it could be a snack stand um, or a Coke refresh or cookie witch. It's going to be one of those three, I guess. Maybe a hot dog stand. Who knows? It's going to be something along those lines. Um, definitely Canadian themed or whatever to fit along there. But they've poured, they're starting to pour the foundation there. Um, you can tell some of the theming and where pillars are going to go. Um, if you look close, you can see some of where the really big log pillars are going to come out of. Um, from what we were told at Yukon Striker Media Day by the VP of Canada's Wonderland, this is going to be the most beautiful building in Canada's Wonderland. Um, in fact, we were told it's going to be the most beautiful building in all of Cedar Fair. Um, so let's hope it lives up to that standard. I don't want to overhype it, but we're told it's going to be really beautiful. So um, knock on wood that it's going to live up to that uh, that title. Um, uh, there is definitely a giant that I just noticed now, one of those giant cherry pickers over by Lumberjacks. I don't know if they're just doing maintenance or replacing stuff. Uh, again, a lot of things you don't know that go into opening and prepping a theme park is when these rides do sit, sometimes parks parts just break or don't work when they go to like do the maintenance on them and then they got to replace them. So a lot of that is that beginning portion. Usually maintenance is getting the rides ready Monday to Friday um, for training uh, that weekend, Friday, Saturday, su Sunday, sorry, hiccups, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the, the park will be running these rides consistently. Um, so that's when you'll be able to film Behemoth when it's running. It'll be running um, Saturday, Sunday, all day. So that's a good time to go watch if you really want to watch Leviathan and Behemoth. Saturday, Sunday will be a good day. Obviously watch off of park property along the grass hill or in a field. Um, but yeah, don't trespass into the parking lot. Don't make it harder for Wonderland security or the park. Um, watch from afar. Um, I'm trying to think if there was absolutely anything else. I think I covered anything. If you guys spot anything in the footage that you're going to watch um, as you listen to some music, uh, feel free to comment down below. But I think I covered everything. In terms of stuff, there is an area of attention um, that I have spotted uh, that I'm not going to say yet uh, that I will be running to the minute the park opens. Um, that definitely has piqued my interest. Two videos in a row now. Um, but yeah, I will, I'm not going to talk about that just because some people copy my homework. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, that is all for now. Um yeah, uh, I don't want to give out too much, um, but based off of things that I've been hearing over the last couple years, expect there to be a pretty cool change over at Guardian. I don't know what that could be yet, but I do expect a really cool change at Guardian this year, um, and I'm really excited. I think I covered everything. I just, I'm going to regret if I end this video and I forgot anything. Um, I don't like scripting myself because I sound really awkward when I script myself. Um, and then when I put jotted notes, it just, it changes up my vibe. And I like just being real and chatting through my video as if like, you know, it's just whatever comes to my head as I'm talking about it or as I remember. So hopefully you guys don't mind that, but I just like it to be more real. Like you're getting the real me in this video. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, thanks so much for watching guys, uh, and have a good one. Enjoy the footage. Mm -hmm.